So trends in estate planning. Well, I would say if, if we were talking 20 years ago, one of the biggest conversations um, that, that I'd have with my clients is we talk about how to prepare to pay the estate tax when one spouse or both spouses pass away. That topic took a long time to discuss in the meeting because it was some, somewhat complex. I mean, we were talking about taxes and we were also talking about income taxes with respect to retirement plans. And so we took a lot of time in the meeting talking about estate taxes because the exemption amount for estate tax purposes 20 years ago was um, less than a million dollars. And so the estate tax really impacted the moderately wealthy, even middle class clients. Um, almost everybody I met with in fact, um, had to worry about the estate tax. So jump forward to 2000, um, well, to now, the exemption is $11.7 million um, and now is 2021. We expect that amount to drop to um, 5 million adjusted for inflation, but people are talking about it dropping even below $5 million. Even at a $5 million exemption amount for estate taxes, it still doesn't impact families um, like it used to. The estate tax has um, less of an in impact for um, moderately wealthy or middle-class families. And so I think the trend is more toward focusing on the um, wishes and the estate plan without a, um, a worry or a, an estate tax concern component. In other words, we're able to spend more time in the meeting talking about just a plan that the client wants without having to worry about complex tax planning. And I would say that that represents um, probably half of the people that who we serve. The other half of the people we serve, we're, we are talking about the estate tax. We're looking forward to what is the exemption amount going to be in the future? Since the estate tax exemption is at an all-time zenith at $11.7 million, a lot of clients want to know, how do I lock that in for now? How do I make sure that I can transfer $11.7 million to my family tax-free, even if I don't pass away in 2021? So I think it's kind of two opposite ends of the spectrum. It's either we're not talking about the estate tax at all and able to focus on the desires of the client um, at and, and maybe talk about a little bit of income tax with respect to retirement plans. But the other end of the spectrum is really focusing on how are we going to um, how are we going to capture that $11.7 million exemption and make the most of it?